You're hitting oh, my, hi, sorry, I didn't, hitting see, my you, I didn't see you come in there. I was, I was caressing your that face. lovingly, Colin. This I like it. what we do on kindoffunny.com. I wish I had a partner. You will. Eventually, Nick Scarpino Man, will come you back. Should come back into my hey, life. You should I'm lay sorry. Down. I'll be right What's back. Wrong? What's wrong? You What's guys hang on? tight. Who's okay. this guy? Is I'm he stealing from us? No, he's Are fine. you stealing from us, sir? Kevin, it's Kevin. It's Pirates of Silicon Valley recreation. The man who feeds you? No, it doesn't you? matter. Is this my water? Water, water? Is your water? Damn it. Oh, there's so many waters here. up here. I want you guys to know also that I picked this patio furniture. It's awesome. That we're on top of. It's awesome. That's it's good. awesome. It is good. But there's two drawbacks to it that we'll have to figure out for next year. If they invite us back, which they let's be honest, they will not. They're not. They so no far, one wants to. We might not even be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. they're probably shit canning this show after this. Uh, number one, they're very slippery, mm. and I think they're designed that way just because they're outdoor furniture, right? right? And they're like, you that know, they're supposed to be. We can pour rain all over. It. That's true. Um, number two, because they're slippery, uh, they don't let you breathe. Sorry. It's okay. So I'm pretty sure all of our backs are going to be just caked in sweat. I feel it all. It's okay though, hour. you know. So it's you're gonna feel nice. You're giving me permission to take off my clothes throughout this stream. Yeah, well, I'm not. I, no one has to give you permission to do that. You're just gonna do that shit anyway. Be Greg Miller. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you're here oh, on GameSpot.com/slash E3. I guarantee I take off my shirt by the end of this stream. Last day, I'll just be shirtless. Sure. Good. Uh, it's time to talk about all these press conferences. Mm. It's Tuesday. Mm. We've seen all the press conferences mm. now. They're all done. Where do we want to start? Of course, over on YouTube.com/slash Kind of Funny Games, we have our little wrap-ups of yeah. each one. Do you want to start with the ones we didn't get to do? Like, we, Square just happened. Did you guys get, well, to, get not, a chance to watch Square? Yeah, we're not I well enough informed yeah, about Square. I feel like if it pleases you, uh -huh. if we it should pleases go, the lady, we should go sequentially. Okay. Right? Okay, okay. Because we didn't see Square, so we can't really talk exactly. about it. Exactly. See, I was going to do it a little differently. Okay. The Drake mentality of started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. Start with the worst one. Oh, oh, so you want to talk about EA? Yes. <laughs> that, that's where we go. But uh, I like your sequential thing. That makes a little bit more sense. Because I don't want to be talking it's shit. You know what happens. You, under, you know what happens when you talk shit. And yeah. it's, a, it's a little less judgmental. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Are those things going to be in my peripheral vision the entire time? The what? tearaway? The, the, the tearaway, tearaway dancers? Oh, yeah. the envelopes? Yoda and whoever? Yeah, probably. I would Great. like to get one on camera at Great. some point. How can we do that? We have to figure that out. We can get yeah, them on the stage. No, we're going to get them on camera in like five no, seconds. We got a roaming camera? Good. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, we, we do have a roaming camera. If we can roam to get some footage of that. Kevin That'd be says cool. he would love to not do that. Oh, they're just moving the camera, Kev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't it's have okay. to move the, the yes. uh, Kevin, also, yeah, Kevin's uh, gonna tell us when it's great right. job. A little bit of feedback. On this section, I believe we were supposed to have be taking a break at, a, at 30 minutes in. It's not a problem. Just make sure we pad for the extra five minutes. Because then we're never going to be 10 minutes behind. Correct. And 15 minutes we're just going to keep going. So That's on just so this mm -hmm. one. And then the next hour, I'm going to be over and there more importantly, Nick, pretending like you're throwing to me. We have oh, the, my we God. Have the there dancers. they are. No, Nick, you, Nick. you're free. Nick, go, go, go. Go, go Nick. <laughs> kind of funny, everybody. Tear away, guys. We're coming to put you on camera. Tear away, guys. You're on camera <laughs> dancing with Nick. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys still hear me? Oh, yeah. God, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, please, the rest I'm just going to be here the rest of the day. <laughs> Roam the PlayStation booth the rest of the yeah, day. Whenever, okay. we, whenever, we kick, whenever we kick the Nick. Greg, this, this is and here happening. I go. Can you still see me, Greg? Can I, you hear me, I Greg? I can hear you, I don't see you. I'm in PlayStation. You just passed the guy who made Adventures of Pip. You're coming back? There he is! God damn this show. <laughs> Just leave that up all day long. That's a gif I need everyone to put on kindoffunny.com slash forums. Here you come. Thank you, Tearaway guys. Thank you. Sorry I didn't like your game. Uh, no. Jesus. Too right. You didn't need soon. to say that. Soon, you see, you didn't need to say that because the internet already knows. Internet knows everything. Yeah. All right, so. Internet never forgets. If we're starting from the bottom and going up as we go. No, let's go chronologically. Huh? Chronologically. Let's go chronologically. You're not listening We don't want to talk shit. Enough. There's a lot happening. You're not listening closely enough. And, you, and someone's saying something in your ear as well. So I for everyone out there, Kevin is talking into you Greg's head distracted. right now with the little IFB. It's this whole fancy new technology. It's crazy. You is can tell Greg's happening? never really used one before. I would be the same way because Greg's like, when someone's talking to him, Greg's like, no, Greg's uses them all the time. No, I use them all the time. It's the problem is this one isn't formed in my ear. Yeah. So it keeps crawling out and coming back mm, up. And then I got oh, this guy on top of it. When you did, uh, when you did Up at Noon, you used one? No, I did no, it. No, uh, for the fancy uh, live yeah, show. Yeah, San Diego Comic Cons and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. I'm Greg Miller. I've done this before. Because I, I for know, hire. I, because I've, we've hosted things together, Greg, for literally thousands of hours. Yeah. Well, okay. usually when you and I, I are together, it's some little thing. Uh, they, they, they throw us the scraps. No, of mm. course. But I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that we've done it for you know so long, and I know your 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 ticks and your tendencies, and I feel like I'm seeing unique things out of you today already. You you're know, I'm in pro mode. You're growing. Thanks, hey, you're man. back. That was good. He's tired. Look how I tired like how you he made is. it seem like it was so far away. 
and you just had to run back over here. Like, it was like, that was a good half mile, mile, mile and a half. Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah, made it look quick. like nothing. Also, I want you guys to know, I made the command decision to move the stairs from over here yeah. to over there for safety. Okay. And every single person so far has just jumped off of this side of the stage mm -hmm. into the crowd. The, the vast crowd that we have There's in front of us. There's billions, really. Woo! Woo! We're, we're lucky Juicebox didn't do a flip off the stage. I, Dude, I want to see him do a flip, but not on any not on anything that we're yeah. And yeah. We should, Oh, but we have the roaming camera. Oh, yeah. we do have the roaming camera. That should be the... So yeah. take him into, like, E3, where wherever he, if he gets hurt somewhere, he gets hurt on E3 property. Yeah. And then yes. we're not right. liable. Yeah. I, like yeah. I was going to say, take him to that hall, that, but it's not even open anymore. The hall where, like, where games went to die back oh, in the yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. Catch, <laughs> catch, a, catch a hall. Catch no one ever did anything with Oh, my God. Do they still use that? I like no. the stick no. mic. It's a good look. I do like the it's stick mic a lot. Because we, we have this whole weird tethery thing. Bethesda. Let's actually talk about video games okay. at the conferences. Chronologically, okay. we start Sunday night. Bethesda. Colin, how was it? It was awesome. It was a great way to start. It, it went about how we predicted it would yeah. go. Three big games, right? Yeah. Fallout, obviously, Dishonored, and then Doom. Yes. Uh, actually shown in the exact opposite order that I mentioned them. <laughs> um, we knew that. I felt bad for Arcane specifically that their game leaked literally like at zero hour. Mm. Um, so it wasn't a surprise. Uh, but Fallout 4, obviously, arguably the game of the show, I would say. Um, yeah, it's on, it's, it's on the list. We well, have the board we're, the we're building Greg. out. Ugh. Here, well, I'll hold it for you if you'd like. Now... I'm going to put it in front of my face. And I'm just Kevin has it. yelled at us that we need to go back and make them all black. Not yelled at us. He's trying to make the oh, show better. Why I mean, don't read. Why are you fine. Yelling? You can it's see. It's hard to read. But Colin's got Fallout 4 at 1. I've got Fallout 4 at 1. Tim doesn't because no. he's a monster. No. And Cisco doesn't because he's also a monster. No. He doesn't. You, I, Nick doesn't either. Nick only has played Axiom Verge. Yeah, okay. Again, none of you guys have played this. <laughs> we don't need to play Fallout 4 to know it's going to be game of the show. We Guess wanna, what? It do plays you want to like close up here? I'll bring it to you. There you go. Now, Nick, how did I do it drawing the smiley face? I feel pretty good about that. Terrible. Terrible. I don't think that's a fair assessment of my skills. It was poor. Poor is all right. I'll give you poor. I mean, it looks so <laughs> It looks like a full smiley face, but something went wrong with this <laughs> child. <laughs> and that's and like the Portillo of our logo. Yeah, exactly. All right. I don't think we exactly. need to bring the dog into it. The baby came out of the womb with the smile on the side of the head. It doesn't right. look like a smirk, in other words. Yeah, sure, got it, sure, got it, sure, got sure. It. So Bethesda, I liked it. I enjoyed it. As somebody that, those games aren't tailored toward me, but I get it. I'm like, my God, Fallout 4 looks amazing. And that is, I'd be shocked if it doesn't win game of the show for a lot of people. I'm going to be shocked if it doesn't win game of the year, probably. Yeah, no, like it's, I, I, I've talked about it right. For game of the year, when I get serious, I only put the games I've played. And that's why, of course, Metal Gear Solid right now at the top. I played two days of it. It's amazing. I can't wait to play the final product. Uh -huh. uh, below that was Witcher because we played it. But now you start talking about Batman next week. You start talking about Fallout 4 the in Batman? November. The, the Batman. Batman. He's the goddamn Batman. Okay. Be the Batman. Greg, be the Batman. Be the Batman. But, yeah, I think Fallout 4, like, stole it. Is this entire show it belongs to Fallout 4 so far. No, no, no. Really? Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm going to stick to that. I, I saw Colin's face. Now, granted, the Fallout 4 news dropped a while back. That, that's pre-E3. Sunday. Sunday feels like... Sunday feels like... No, ago, I'm yeah. talking about when they actually announced that Fallout 4 was, uh, a, was a when we thing. did the trailer and I woke up and said, yes. That was when you guys were most excited about Fallout 4. I feel, I feel like the, the conference was just, okay, it's an actual real thing or official. Having said that... When we saw Cloud and the dude with the uh, machine gun arm, Barrett. Barrett, Barrett, Colin's face looks like he was 12 years old again. He's, he did that, that very, the very rarest of smiles that Colin gives, the ear-to-ear -ear smile. Yeah, Where Which he's is not rare. actually screwing with Colin's you. Colin's yeah. never happy. Well, he gives it to you sometimes, but, he, but he, when he's screwing with you. Yeah. Um, but he smiled from ear-to-ear -ear and looked at me and was like, this is unbelievable. Like, I can't believe this is happening. And to which I replied, I don't understand what this is. <laughs> is this Final Fantasy 15? I, I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> no. Is this, is this a remake of Final Fantasy 11? No. No? It's not a remake of Tim's Final Fantasy 11. Watching, Tim's favorite. For everyone watching, Tim's favorite is Final Fantasy 11, nope. followed by Final Fantasy 14, and then 4. And then, but then after that, he starts going into Spirits Within, which wasn't even a video oh, game. Oh, Spirits Within, the best Final Fantasy, period. Nailed oh, it. Oh, wow. I hate you guys so, so much. Even though you weren't uh, into the Bethesda games, you yes. enjoyed the conference. You well, understand how they, important it was? The conference was great. Like, as a show, they did such a good presentation of that. And they made me understand why Fallout's a big thing. You know, we did the Let's Play of Fallout 3, and I started to get it. I saw that moment when you came out of the, the vault. You're like, whoa, there is this whole world. And you were right, man. Seeing it again in Fallout 4, I get why that's special to everybody. Even though it didn't resonate with me because it's, I, I don't have that experience, right. I understand the experience that other people get from that. And I, 
you guys are going to play that game for years. Yeah, it's going to be a thing. It's like what, the way we feel about Witcher 3 right now, which is this just, it's not a game I'm playing. It's actually a lifestyle choice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. you, know I mean? you ignore everything else yeah. just to do that. So yeah. I can r erase all of the question marks from my map. Yeah. yeah. Obsessively, yeah. one by one. And you look at the legend, and it says, question marks, 117. And you cry. And then three hours <laughs> later, it's like, question marks, 112. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. <laughs> We're getting somewhere now. So then, moving on, mm -hmm. Microsoft. What do we think of Microsoft? Oh, they killed it, man. Very right? impressive. Such a good conference. Yeah, to me, they always they seem to be the most well-paced of conferences, right? Where, like, I think there was a time about, it was, maybe it was like one or two years ago, uh, maybe, <laughs> let's be honest, like about five years ago, they decided to just show games and not talk about the stock stuff and how everything was doing. Remember that when that, when that changed yeah. in the industry? People were like, oh, right, we need to make these multimedia right, events. More fun. Yeah. Right, we don't we need to go out there and talk about Q4 or, uh, Q, uh, sorry. Q4? Q4. Q4 stocks or, or uh, profit margins. Um, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> You're talking about business. <laughs> your your anyway, business degree is shining through uh, once yeah, again. Yeah, the, the stunning degree I got online. Um, they seem to be the ones that kind of get how to how to uh, perform for the mainstream audiences, right? Yeah. Sony still feels a little like it lags, and they just show you stuff sometimes, and they're not really like, giving context. Then Nintendo just goes straight into that. Like Nintendo's like, "You're just showing me." And granted, I don't understand totally half what's going on Totally untranslated yeah. trailers <laughs> with, with Japanese logos. Yeah, so Japanese yeah. logos. No, that's is. the thing. Is no I was idea looking forward to that Fire Emblem Shin Megami game, and I'm like, okay, so what's it called? I see, I see FE, and there's a lot of Japanese things. What? Yeah. But whatever. But, but I, like, I always like Microsoft because I yeah. feel like they're better at, being, at the showmanship of it. They have the better – they always have the edgier set, right? Like my, uh, Sony always does – the sort the of panoramic screen. screen, which is awesome. And you were you were commenting on, you're like, that's got to be some sort of at least an homage to Morpheus. I to thought, some degree. man, I missed that on a boat on that PlayStation thing last night. But you night. weren't wrong, though, because if you looked at the design of that, someone looked and said, got, got inspired by that 360 yeah. glass. Now, they've been doing it for a while, but it had the angular look. It had the angle of, like, them. your glasses, like what you have yeah. on the back of your glasses. And that's why I was so sure when they went. There was this moment, in the, and we're just jumping around. Yeah. Fuck chronological order. Oh, All right. right. There was this moment. When they showed the gorilla game that I just gave the award to, Horizon, when they showed it and it was in widescreen, and then they expanded the sides to fill the entire thing, and I poked Colin, because that's what I was like, here it comes. They're going to say it's a Morpheus game, and you put it on, and you're wrapped in, and then they didn't. And that's when I started going, oh, my God, all of these are going to be Morpheus games. Uh -huh. They're going to do something where, and everything you've seen is playable on Morpheus. And then they didn't. They didn't do and it. And that never happened. That and yeah. they talked about Morpheus for two minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You know, it's interesting you say about the showmanship. Because, yeah, Xbox's stage is definitely, I think, a, a level beyond um, the, the, the Sony set and all that stuff. No, Sony, nothing? So, Sony, he did, the look. Okay. he did the look. Right. So Sony had the, the, you know, the big screen, which is always beautiful. But the thing that Xbox doesn't have is that character. You know, Nintendo yeah. has Reggie, and it has oh. Miyamoto, and it has all that. It's true. Right. And then, you know, Sony that has Shu, and it has, like, Adam, Adam Boyce, Boyce, yeah. And these characters that people know from Twitter and from just the internet, you know, just from years of doing this. Xbox, they have those guys. It's it, they're still in their infancy. Yeah. Phil Spencer is going to be Shuhei. Uh -huh. like, but he's building that right yep. now, right? Yep. Yeah. And it's just, but right now, without that, Whoa. it does make the No the one will ever be Shuhei. Sorry, everybody. It's no true. No one will ever it's be true. Shuhei. Patron saint. Of Shuhei, if you hear me in the PlayStation booth, we love you. <laughs> that guy loves Shuhei too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's what Xbox is kind of lacking right now in terms of the press conference. But right. besides that, oh my god, pacing of the show, the games announced. Yeah, they knocked it out. And uh, the backwards compatibility, which I that think was is crazy. a huge announcement. Like, and uh, th both Nintendo and Sony lacked that. Here's something that's not a game, but it's more of an ecosystem thing to make your lives better. And I expected everyone to, so I'm a little shocked that it was only Microsoft, but they did great with it. Yeah, that was what was so awesome. surprising about Microsoft's thing is compared to Sony, is that Sony usually is the people who are coming out announcing goods and services, yep. right? And I really feel like Microsoft took that and ran with it this mm -hmm. year. They did that. They had HoloLens. And, like, the, uh, before this, like, I've used Morpheus. What are you pointing at? Adam Barblatt. Oh, yeah, Adam, what up? IGN's Adam. Hey, an IGN guy's talking to us. Weird. Uh, before that. Weird. <laughs> it's not weird. No, we, they've all been Fine. coming over and saying hi today. Before that, like, I had used Morpheus. I thought that's cool. I've used Oculus. I thought that's cool. But then to actually see the HoloLens in action and to see how it would play with Minecraft and how it could change a game well, you already to see, to see half of it. At first, every single person that was watching that was like, what, the sh what is this? Right. You're watching a guy play something projected on a wall. Yeah, that was How weird. hard is that? Look, boom, I did it. It's done. Then he walks over to that weird crate. 
a beautifully made crate, and boom, it comes to life. That's when I think everyone was blown away by it. That's when I was like, oh. Yeah, no, when I'll he went to the crate, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. The game, he can move it and pinch and zoom. That was when it was minority part uh, report. It was very, well, well, very Tony Stark. The thing with that, though, and you guys kind of brought this up uh, yesterday when we were talking about the conferences, but that was the moment that's being written up by the general press, not just the, that's the game the, That's spots. your USA Today and moment. That's yes. very important. And, and I saw that, like, all the big sites, Mashable and all that, that was the headline was, oh, my God, Minecraft uh, blew everyone away without even really creating this crazy new game. It's just with what you have, and it's like, all right, Yeah, they, cool. showed, a, they showed a gimmicky kind of piece of tech. I, I, I got to say that, you know, game of the show goes to Henry Ford the Third. Henry uh, Ford the Third showing up at the. I uh, didn't the think they'd be able to land him, uh, but they did. I don't know. I think Pele definitely should oh, get a Pele shout definitely. out. Do you think yeah. that he has to oh, always you know what? drive Jason in Fords? Jason Derulo from Derulo. Ubisoft. Yeah, Jason. Jason. I don't understand. What were you saying, uh, Nicholas? My question is, if you are Henry Ford the Third, are you allowed to drive any other car other than a Ford? No, definitely not. And here's the here's the bit. Like you can't get stuck in a like, caught in a Toyota, right? Oh, like, no, holy no, shit! No. I just saw Henry Ford in a Camry. I really don't think you get caught in a Toyota anywhere near Detroit. But no. But uh. Here's the funny thing is that a lot of the guys that show up, you know, you know, Peter Moore, for instance, makes his, his rounds, right? And then he's here for three days, and then he goes back to, you know, Redwood and, and, and goes to his office and does his thing at EA. But what I was, I love the visual of Henry Ford III because Henry the Ford III has really no business at E3. Right. So, and I mean that, like, he, he could be here if he wants. I mean, he has no literal business here. Yeah. So he got on a plane in Detroit, came to L.A., was on a stage, said two things, and then got back on a plane and went back to Detroit. Probably. And I, and I, see I, later, I think he drove. You drove? He definitely drove. Oh, you think oh, he, he took he, that GT? It, it yeah. was the real, yeah. it was the crew. But uh -huh. here, here's the thing about Microsoft's conference that I think is, first of all, I was really blown away by Microsoft's press conference and how good it was, and I said mm -hmm. that, which is why I was impressed that I think Sony edged them out because I think Sony had good, good game, like really good games to show yep. too. But I do think the biggest and most significant announcement is the backwards compatibility on Xbox One. Sure. That opens up, if they want to, a thousand games yeah. on Xbox One yeah. to play, and that is so they're starting with a hundred, and they have to you know they have to do it manually. They're basically emulating these yep. games, so they have to get permission from the publishers and the stakeholders. But that was a significant step because why it was significant was they were like, we don't know and don't think we can do this. Yeah, we tried to do it and we made it happen. Yeah, and I think that puts PlayStation on notice that they need to do the same thing, and they took a shot directly at PlayStation yep. and PlayStation now by saying we're not going to make you pay for the games you already yep. own. And yep, after yep, the yep, show, yep. they also announced that multiplayer works too. Right, which so, is unbelievable. There was a lot of questions about that, so that is really interesting. The thing that worries me, it was a, a big, huge announcement, but what worries me is they did the same thing with the 360, with, which was backwards compatible with Xbox games, and it was this whole, like, you have to download the updates. Yeah. And they did the thing that I hate that game developers do, where, like, Nintendo with its virtual console, it's like, why isn't everything just available now, you know? Like, they trickle it out and all this stuff. And I, I would love to see where we're at in six months of how many Xbox 360 games are actually compatible. Yeah, you yeah. know, They make it sound like it's going to be everything. PlayStation Now made it sound like it was going to be everything. Yeah, it's, it's just that it, when they say things like this, it, and it's the same thing, I, I think Nintendo's a little more deliberate with why they did it that Definitely. way. Definitely. But it really is like they probably do have to go to with each individual game and be like, this is the, this is the source code, this is the game that exists on Xbox Live, this is how Xbox One reads it, it downloads it through Xbox One. They probably have to do it really game by game by game, and they're doing it themselves. Yeah. So. You assume that if they could turn it, flip a switch, it would make more sense. If they could have said, like, hey, guys, every Xbox 360 game is now available on Xbox One, yep. that would have been the headline. But that isn't isn't the case. They're starting with 100 by holiday season, I think, and then they'll go from there. Right. Yeah. And I was talking to Nathan yesterday because he, he was watching the show with us. Nathan Bella. Yeah. Um, and he, I was like, I made an off, uh, you know, a typical Nick comment, not really understanding the industry. And I'm like, that's just a marketing ploy. They could have done this years ago. And he's like a year ago rather and he's like no it's actually really really hard because you have to when you're developing you have to do it per platform so for the unreal engine versus a different engine he's like there's that's a whole other s ball of wax and i'm yeah. like oh so there are actually technical constraints he's like yeah they're not kidding about that yeah they're serious <laughs> like it's really hard to do that yeah and it's, it's, a, it's even harder apparently i guess for the ps4 to ps3 because of the difference in processors Yo, so, so that's yeah, gonna be impossible once you get off that cell processor that was yeah. the thing and that's what like when Cerny came out at the PlayStation 4 launch event and he said to everybody, like, here's what's under the hood, he was saying, we're sorry it was so hard to program for. They were very clear that if you have a game that runs on a PC, you can bring it over here without issue. Yeah. And that was them being like, hey, we know this was everyone's biggest complaint. And that was great moving forward, but it totally does screw things up going yeah, back. Yeah, because they would have to put the cell processor or figure out a way to emulate those games on PS4. And I feel, I feel like that might happen. It's unfortunate. See, 
the reason that was significant is that, and it was a shot at Sony was because, and a clear shot at Sony is because Sony has siloed off all of its games. On Vita, you can play Vita games, some PSP games, some PS1 classics. You can't play PS2 classics. On PS3, you can play P PlayStation P or PSP minis. You cannot play PSP games. You can play PS1 games. You can yeah. play PS2 games. On PS4, you can play only PS4 games. You, you buy can hook something up your Vita. and you never know where it can play. Yeah, you can hook up yeah. your Vita to your like PS3. Crash you can hook up your Vita to the PS4. You can play it on PS3. You can play it on uh, PSP, but not the Vita. Yeah, not here. Not I think you can in Europe. Yeah, uh, exactly. If you're in Europe, though. So that's that's what they're saying, and I think that's what they were doing is like, you know, unifying the platform makes a lot of sense. And Windows yes. 10, obviously, is a significant step to that, too, yep. uh, since the idea of Windows 10 is to run on everything. So mm -hmm. that was that was significant not only because of the announcement of backwards compatibility and opening up a huge swath of great games, mm -hmm. and Xbox 360 had significant a significant library, one of the great libraries of all time. Uh, it's But it's also, you know, we're listening... We're updating this console, and that was the difference between Xbox and PlayStation. PlayStation talked about games, and I think PlayStation won with games in the future. I think yes. Xbox wins with games imminently. The fall Holiday. looks very bad yeah. for PlayStation 4 mm -hmm. in terms of exclusives. Meanwhile, on Microsoft, they have uh, Halo. They're going to have Gears 1 Remade. They're going to have Forza, and they're going to have Rise of the Tomb Raider. That's yep. a significant exclusive showing on Xbox One, yep. while PlayStation 4 right now only has the Uncharted Collection. Yes. Um, which cancels out maybe Gears of War, which means you would definitely have you have three other huge games. They have to have something else. It might be No Man's Sky, but other than that, mm -hmm. you know who the hell knows. And that yeah. was that was what I, I took away from Microsoft. But what's wrong, Greg? I want to see a schedule. Yeah, but so but Sony, uh, but with Sony, I feel like they just had a more impressive showing, and they and they came out swinging, and that was impressive. Dude. They opened with The Last Guardian. And that's a that's a game you would put last. Yeah. And they and they were like, no, we're gonna no, put it on the front. I'm not I'm not a huge obviously Last Guardian fan or, or Ico fan. Was that what you wanted it to be when yes. you saw that? Yeah, no. Per personally, I, think I it want totally you, we was. wanted it to be out and we wanted it to oh, be oh, say right, this right. year, this fall. Yes. Sorry for making you wait. Here it is. But to me, that was the one fault. Instead, they said 2016, I, I, right? Yeah. yeah, I wanted the this year release. Specific, a date would have been fucking perfect. Yeah. But what I did like that they did is. It wasn't a new game. It wasn't like, here's a bunch of new features and here's new stuff. It was the same thing we've seen before. So it's like, you were getting the game that we've waited for. And yeah. that excites me because I was worried that they would change things up. And like, I'm happy they didn't. Like, yeah. this is the game we've waited years for. It's a reimagining. I, I saw some comments today of people saying, well, it looks like a PS3 game. And I'm like, I think you're out of your mind. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like a PS3 game at all. Uh -huh. um, it looks like an early PS4 game. It looks like a game that has been in development for a long time because it has. It's yeah. been in pre-pro and uh, on the drawing board and then development for eight or nine years. So obviously they rebuilt it. Yeah. It's a PlayStation 4 game, clearly. Uh -huh. what, so you, what uh, you're seeing, though, when people say that is the fact that they remember The Last Guardian looking like that. It did look like it's, that. But it's like, for sure. just like when you play Super Mario 64 and they put out the you know redone version, you're like, oh, it looks the same. And then you go back and look at the original Super Mario. Like, oh, Whoa. God, no, it yeah, does yeah, not. Yeah. If you go back and watch those trailers side to side, you're going to see a stark difference. Definitely. But in your mind's eye, you see, like, yeah. oh, good old bird dog still looking the same. It's, mm -hmm. it's like Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 when everyone's like, this looks like Fallout 3. And I'm like, are you, no, are you crazy? No, it doesn't. <laughs> definitely doesn't. I think that Sony's conference last night is going to go down as one of the best E3 press conferences ever. Like, there was so many big announcements and there's so many big games. Like, starting it with Last Guardian, ending it with Uncharted 4, Shenmue 3 and Final Fantasy 7 in the middle of that. Final yeah. Fantasy 7 wasn't even, like, bomb drop at the end. It was just... In the middle. Right, 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 know? right, right. I can't believe that. Like, that's nuts to me. And there was so much other stuff. Horizon, a new IP that looks awesome. Everyone in the room when that demo was on was impressed by that and was like, I want to play this. I'm into this. You d you're not losing me. Because every once in a while, demos will come on, and you see it, you're like, all right, I'm going to go pee now. You know, or I'm yeah, going to yeah, yeah. do something right now. It's like, no. Like, that. Sony, I think, consistently had the most people in tune with what was going on, like, watching the entire demos. Yeah, I mean, what I, what I tweeted during the conference, during the height of the conference last night, that I was like, Microsoft's conference was awesome, and I think Sony's beating the shit out of them right now. And really? As, yeah, and as I, got, as I got through the rest of the conference, I'm like, and I tweeted out later, I'm like, that was a little premature. I think Sony <laughs> won. Yeah. But because there was a lull, in the, yeah. a big yep. lull in the middle. But, but, don't, you, but don't you have to take a point away for the fact that, yes, they showed The Last Guardian, but everyone has been... The reason that has such an impact is because of the heritage of that game not being out, not sure. being shown, constantly being kind of dangled in front of you. And everyone's like, oh, it's finally here. And be like, let's not forget that mom wasn't here for the last three <laughs> years. No, right? And now mom walks to the door with gifts and we're all happy. It's, been, it's, it's true. It's been six years since we saw it. Yeah. And that's a significant portion of time. The game was supposed to come out five years ago. Mm -hmm. So just showing and being like, and being like I would have liked a different presentation where it was dated. I was surprised that they, they, they showed it and it wasn't this fall because yeah, yeah. when Uncharted got pushed, 
you know, the, the first party ecosystem works in tandem. So when Uncharted got pushed, I'm like, the last Guardian's going to be the fall game. Yeah. They have to be comfortable putting, putting, pushing that out. Yep. Even though Naughty Dog can probably do whatever they want. Yep. The, that they have to have this opening. And I was like, the last Guardian, they'll show it at E3 and they'll date it October. Mm -hmm. And that didn't happen. And I was shocked that actually they showed it and it still says 2016. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I okay. feel like that might have been a mistake and a tactical error, too, because now everyone's going to, what if it doesn't come out in 2016? You know, like it has to, man. It has to come out in 2016. To if me, it's it like, it's like maybe they should have just waited until Paris Games Week or something and been like, all right, yeah. now we're, we're confident it's going to come out in four months or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I think it had to be at E3, though. Like, I really think that that's the type of game that like they needed to put it out there. And like, you know, as much as we needed that date, I think that the general, the general public that cares, like, it, that, just knowing that it still exists, I think is important to get in people's sure, minds. Sure. To get them to know, hey, you should buy a PS4 for next year. Like, there's going to be a good reason. and Because th there's going to be a lot of people that are like, should I sell my PS4? Should I buy an Xbox One? Yeah, right. And Xbox has all these games. That down. But I feel like they had that unlock already with Uncharted. You know what I mean? Like, they already had your reason to wait yeah. for what it is. It is the waiting game and trying to make people go and continue to buy it and care about the PlayStation 4 is there. But, yeah, I don't know if you need to do it. Yeah, I, I, I think – and that's the major difference between Microsoft and Sony. And why I think Sony has a lot to fear with Microsoft moving forward because Microsoft's starting to become, in my mind, with under Phil Spencer, quite ingenious. Mm. Because they came out beforehand. They're like, we have b three, three big exclusives that we're not even going to talk about. Right? They're like, Scalebound is not going to yeah. be here. Crackdown is not going to be here. Quantum Break, which is a really huge exclusive, isn't going to be here. And instead what they focused on was imminent games. And then they had a game like Inafune's game, Re yeah. Recore and stuff, but they were like, we have four big games coming out this fall, and here are the four big games, plus we're going to buttress it with Gears 4, which looks awesome, uh, and then we're going to have a few other things in the middle. So, and what's scary for, what should be scary for Sony is that at Gamescom, then they're in August, then so Microsoft's going to be, well, now we're going to talk about 2016 games. Yeah. And here's Crackdown, and here's Quantum Break, oh, yeah, and, yeah, here's, yeah. and here's Scalebound. And meanwhile, Sony will have 2016 games. You assume a game, well, obviously, The Last Guardian, you assume Horizon, which has been in development for four years, uh -huh. Dreams. But so Sony's, Sony's eye doesn't seem to be on the ball for this fall, and I think it could be a huge blunder for them. Mm. Because everyone's like, oh, you play your third-party games. And I'm like, but what you're forgetting is your third-party games are available everywhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If you have and the shooter guys, they're still, they still haven't uh, transferred over to PS4. You know, like they they still are home on Xbox One, you know, and until they get that, that's a lot of the third party games. So, yeah, I mean, it's so the thing is, this PS4 is selling in, in, in spite of a lot yeah. of the developers in the first party system not being ready yet. But in terms of exclusives, unless Sony does something, Microsoft is going to clean Sony's clock this this mm -hmm. this fall. Not maybe in terms of sales necessarily, but in terms of just here's why you should have an yeah. Xbox One specifically. Uh -huh. And I and, and I, I fear that Sony might have not kept their eye on the ball a year or two did ago. They did they give them the room right now to catch up? Right. Did, and what you're saying, yeah, a year ago, in yeah. two years ago in production development timelines, did they give this, this opening, this they window? They clearly assumed Uncharted was going to be ready. Yep, yeah. totally. And this is another Order 1886 fall yep. where they thought this was going to be there and now it's not and now there's nothing. That's trouble. Yeah, it is trouble. Uncharted Collection is going to be great, but, I but it's not gonna we played units. in Platinum those games. I, really, I like the part where he stood there for a good five minutes and just watched that guy churn butter. That's Uncharted 4, and that was a mistake. The controller I like that died. Part where the guy, I mean, it was beautifully rendered. It was a great render, yeah. Really good. And the fruit vendors. Play something other than Axiom Verge. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you played Shovel Knight. I played Limbo for a second. How'd that go? That's fun. Yeah. That's fun. So then we talked We talked a lot about, you know, Sony, Sony Microsoft. Microsoft. We have one minute left. Okay. EA was disappointing. Yeah, it was disappointing, yeah, but, was it, but it had big but games. It sure. had Mass Effect. Mirror's Edge, no, I'm not Mass saying Effect. it was bad. Mirror's I'm just saying it was disappointing. It what was Mass Effect in the beginning, Mirror's Edge in the middle, and Battlefront at the end. Yeah. But everything else, that mobile section. Yeah, but yeah. That's like, three, oh, those, are, those are huge. They are huge. Well, with the exception but of, in terms of, in of Mirror's of, Edge. It, but in terms of the performance, in terms of being excited, I was like, yeah. when it, when that woman came out, and I feel bad for her, but when she was starting off with a new Mass Effect, come on, that's pretty dope. Yeah, but when the woman's like, let's talk about mobile, and and in the war room, everyone's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was interesting. Ubisoft was solid. Nintendo Day was weird. Nintendo, Nintendo was weird because Nintendo was weird. I wanted it to be a lot better and more exciting than it was. Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, they're gonna have great games this holiday, and I'm that excites me. They're in a holding pattern. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's obvious. I like didn't get a chance NX. to watch Ubisoft. How did Aisha do? Aisha was awesome as Go always. Aisha Tyler's can we amazing. start Just calling it the like Aisha Tyler us. Show from we now on? We are awesome. Keep it here on GameSpot.com/slash E3.